So it's now getting worse for Helldivers 2. We started off with players being forced to link a PSN account, with PSN only being available in 69 countries of the roughly 190 there are in the world. And now, I'm not sure if it's Sony or Steam. If it's Steam, then they're trying to save themselves a headache. If it's Sony, then they're doubling down. But in most of the countries where PSN is not available, neither is Helldivers 2. It's been removed from the Steam store. So if your country of residence is within the EU, but you're still in a country that can't have PSN, then the game should still be available. But if you're outside of the EU and PSN's not available, then neither is the game. And it's got to the point where people within the community of Helldivers 2, like on the dev side, are actually saying to carry on review bombing the game to give them like a little bit of leverage when it comes to having discussions with Sony about either reversing it or doing something to move on from this disaster that's happening. But at the moment, with this new change, it's not looking too good for Helldivers 2 to make a comeback. I mean, looking at the concurrent players on Steam, it's lost around 50,000 players since last weekend. And I think with this, if it carries on to go the same way it's currently going, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. And also a correction on my last video about this, you can't just go and use a VPN. I did see suggestions about it, but it actually breaks the terms of service for PlayStation, so you'll get banned if you use a VPN to make a PSN account. So one of the few games we have that is really, really good has gone to complete shit because of Sony, and it's now got to the point, I think they did a sneaky change within their FAQ, because it used to say that it was optional to link a PSN account, blah, 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 but now it says you may be required, but it seems as though Sony are going to double down on their decision in every way possible, and I actually can't see it changing. So it doesn't seem to have made like a gigantic impact with like player loss and things like that. I mean, a 50,000 player loss compared to a 30,000 the week before is quite a big change, but there are still over 100,000 players concurrently playing on Steam at the weekend, so it's not awful. However, I just don't see Helldivers 2 making a full comeback, going to like max players and everything, and everyone enjoying the game while Sony are doing this shit. And not only that, but Arrowhead are getting quite a lot of backlash as well, just purely because they chose PlayStation as their publisher. So there are some people out there that are saying Arrowhead deserve it due to, like, basically they've made their bed, they've now got a lie in it. So the whole thing is an absolute fucking mess, and I don't see anything good to come from it, but hopefully there is some change that's positive, and if there is, I'll let you guys know in another video. But what we're going to do is leave that one there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this situation in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.